For ages, people have stared up at the night sky, wondering about the universe's many mysteries. In the 20th century, scientists came up with the Big Bang Theory to explain how the cosmos began, grew, and expanded. But even though it's widely accepted, the theory still can't answer a lot of basic questions. Recent finds have made these cosmic puzzles even more confusing. For example, in 2023, NASA's James Webb Space Telescope spotted some stuff in space that seems to have been around before the universe even existed. This discovery has shocked experts and sparked a debate about whether stars could possibly be older than the universe itself. This weird situation makes us question what we thought we knew about the cosmos. Does this mean we need a whole fresh understanding of the universe? These questions, and many others, will be talked about in this presentation. If you want to keep up with the latest space news, remember to subscribe, like the video, and turn on notifications. About 200 light years away, in the Lyra constellation, there's a star called HD 14283. What's cool about this star is that it's zooming super fast at 4,483 kilometers per second. This gives us clues about its crazy past. Around a billion years ago, when our Milky Way galaxy was still forming, it bumped into a dwarf galaxy. HD 14283 used to be part of that dwarf galaxy. But the craziest thing about HD 14283 isn't its speed, it's how old it is. This star is one of the oldest things we've ever seen in space. People even call it Methuselah, like the super old guy from the Bible who supposedly lived for 969 years. At first, people thought it was 16 billion years old, but newer guesses put it at 14.46 billion years, give or take about 800 million years. This is really confusing because the universe is only thought to be around 13.8 billion years old. So, what's going on here? How can a star be older than the universe? It doesn't seem possible. This puzzle has scientists wondering if we're dating stars and the universe wrong. So, they're doing more to figure things out. To get a better handle on this, it helps to know how hard it is to figure out how old space stuff is. Stars like our sun stay pretty much the same temperature and size for billions of years. This makes it hard to know how old they are. Astronomers look for small changes in a star's brightness and color over time. Then, they compare what they see to computer models that predict how stars live and die. One way to guess a star's age is by how fast it spins. Just like a spinning wheel slows down, stars lose their spin over time. By comparing the spin rates of stars of different ages, astronomers have made math formulas that help them guess a star's age using something called gyrochronology. Methuselah, the star we're talking about, is really old. Based on what we know, it's the oldest star out there. Instead of wondering if it could be older than its surroundings, maybe we should ask if the universe is younger than we thought. It's tough to imagine how long 13.8 billion years is. If we squeezed the whole history of the universe into one calendar year, with the Big Bang happening on New Year's Eve, Earth wouldn't show up until late December. And human history would only last a few seconds. Astronomers figure out the universe's age by looking at light from far-off stars that formed soon after the Big Bang. As the universe grows, stuff moves away from us. This makes the light from these stars look stretched out, which is called redshift. By measuring how far away the stars are and how much their light is redshifted, we can guess the age of the universe. Right now, that guess is 13.8 billion years. But now, some fresh work from the University of Ottawa suggests the universe might be way older, maybe around 26.7 billion years. Professor Rajendra Gupta, a physicist at the University of Ottawa, has a fresh idea that combines an older theory with some new stuff in physics. His idea says that protons lose energy over huge distances. This goes against what we currently know about redshift. Gupta thinks that if we allow his idea to go with the expanding universe, we could see redshift differently, not just as something caused by expansion. This fresh way of seeing things could change our guess for the age of the universe and maybe even solve some old space questions. Gupta's work expands on the tired light theory, also on the idea of interaction constants, which says that some cosmic interactions may have changed over time. 
It's good to remember that our guess of the universe's age has shifted over the years. For instance, in the 1920s, Edwin Hubble thought the universe was only about 2 billion years old. But later finds bumped the guess way up to the 13.8 billion years we think now. No matter if we see human history as a tiny 10 seconds or even 5 seconds on that cosmic calendar, it's obvious the universe is crazy old. And as it keeps getting bigger, we have to rethink our old ideas about how old it is. At the same time, cool new finds are hitting the news about our own Milky Way galaxy. Updated guesses say that stars way out in the Milky Way move slower than stars in other galaxies. There are a few ideas why this might be. One idea is that our galaxy might have less dark matter, which is invisible stuff that affects how things move in space. Another idea is that we might not really understand dark matter and how it's spread out in the cosmos. This puzzle comes from data gathered by the European Space Agency's Gaia spacecraft, which has tracked the location of almost 2 billion stars in the Milky Way. These records have made scientists rethink their models of how stars move, especially far away from the center of our galaxy. How fast stars move is key to figuring out how heavy a galaxy is because gravity depends on mass. A recent study using Gaia's record says that the Milky Way's total mass, which includes gas, dust, stars, and dark matter, might be about 200 trillion times the mass of our sun. That's a lot less than earlier guesses. This drop might mean there's less dark matter in our galaxy than we thought. But figuring out a galaxy's mass is super tricky, and the numbers might be off because of the Gaia records or the ways we're analyzing them. As we get more data, scientists will keep watching these changes. In the future, new tech and space missions should shine more light on these space mysteries. The James Webb Space Telescope, with its power to snap and steady pictures from deep space, is set to push our understanding of the cosmos even further. It's not just about how old stars or the universe are. We also want to figure out how galaxies act, what dark matter is, and what forces shape the cosmos. The growing universe is still a key idea in space science. But as we get more data, we might realize that some of our old ideas were wrong. Do the rules of physics we know apply everywhere and at every time in the universe? Could there be hidden stuff or forces that affect how galaxies act and how long stars live? As our tools get better, we might find things that make us question even our most solid scientific beliefs. Researchers are starting to think that we don't know as much about dark matter, dark energy, and the basic forces of nature as we thought. Every fresh discovery, from galaxies far away to old stars, gives us clues about how the universe works. But these finds often bring up more questions, pushing us to learn even more. The idea that stars might be older than the universe or that the cosmos might be much older than we think makes us rethink our whole understanding of space. This might mean we need fresh physics, fresh ideas, and maybe even fresh ways of seeing space and time. What's more, these changes bring up deep questions about what's real and what our spot is in this huge, weird place. If these finds turn out to be true, they wouldn't just change our science. They could change how we see everything. As the talk about the real age of the universe keeps going, it's clearer that we're on the edge of fresh space discoveries. The coming years might give us answers to questions that have bugged people for ages. Whether it's spotting old stars, figuring out dark matter and dark energy, or finding unexpected forces in space, the universe is still hiding a ton of secrets. The path ahead is full of wondering, doing experiments, and tweaking our ideas. Even if we don't get all the answers right now, the excitement of finding stuff is just starting. Keep your curiosity alive. Who knows what amazing stuff is just around the corner? If you love keeping up with the freshest news in space science, be sure to subscribe to our platform, hit the like button, and turn on alerts so you don't miss a find. As we dig deeper into the cosmos, the future looks bright with the potential for mind-blowing finds. The James Webb Space Telescope, with its amazing pictures, is set to be a game-changer in finding the universe's biggest secrets. It's already showing us cool new things about far-off galaxies, exoplanets, and other space happenings. But it's just the start. As Webb keeps going through space, it might gather data that makes us question our most basic beliefs about how the universe works. One of the most exciting things is the search for planets that could have life. 
With fresh exoplanets being found in the right spots, the chance of finding life is more likely than ever. Even if we just found simple life on another planet, it would change science and how we see our spot in the universe. Plus, as we look into the dark stuff of dark matter and dark energy, our science might get flipped upside down. These mysterious things make up most of the universe, but we don't really know what they are or how they affect the universe. Figuring out dark matter and dark energy could give us fresh looks into how reality works. At the same time, how galaxies grow and act is still a main goal in space science. Records showing that stars at the edge of the Milky Way are moving slower than we thought have made experts rethink how galaxies move. This new data might mean our galaxy has less dark matter than we thought. If so, it could change how we see gravity and the layout of the universe. This shows how new facts can make scientists rethink even the most solid ideas. Also, realizing that galaxies might go through stuff we don't fully get yet shows we need to study the cosmos in a fresh way. Could the universe be way older than we think? Could there be hidden times in space history? These are the questions that astronomers will keep chasing as they look at new finds from current and future space missions. As the universe slowly shows its hidden secrets, it's becoming clearer that our models aren't complete. There's still a ton to ask, and with every fresh breakthrough, we're reminded of how much we still don't know. This sense of wonder, mixed with our drive to find the truth, makes up the core of scientific travel.